Hello students, myself Dr. Madhuryan Shinwas. Today we are going to see a dermatopharmacological uh, integrated question in uh, this video. So the question is basically regarding antiviral medication uh, against herpes. So herpes which is resistant to acyclovir is treated by. And if you have marked option B that is Foscarnad is the, as the answer, very good, you are absolutely right. First, uh, we will rule out some options like for example, option A that is Lamivudin. It is antiviral medication, no doubt, but this is going to act against HIV viruses or hepatitis B viruses, but this does not have any role in herpes viruses. So option A is ruled out. Option D is also ruled out. Why? Because Gancyclovir has antiviral activity against cytomegalovirus but not herpes. So, we are left out with option B and C and among the two options, Foscarnet is the answer. Why? Because to know this, you have to understand what is the mechanism of action of these antiviral medications. But before that, very good. These are the students who marked option B as the answer. Very good, Rajita, for giving the uh, proper explanation. Hanushant, Subrita Gosham, Shri, and Annie, all of you have uh, uh, answered it right. Uh, yes, the very uh, common wrong answer which many students give is valcyclovir. Okay, so now let us see what is the mechanism of action of these medications. So, the antiviral medications against herpes are valcyclovir, acyclovir, famcyclovir and pencyclovir. And as you can see, valcyclovir and famcyclovir, they are the prodrugs for acyclovir and pencyclovir. So, basically what happens is these antiviral medications, when they are taken by a human, they are going to uh, reach the viral cells and in the virus, the thymidine kinase, the thymidine kinase will convert these medications into their respective monophosphates, their respective monophosphates and this step happens in the virus. So, remember this point, very very important, this step happens in the virus. Whereas, in the next step, the uh, you know kinases which are going to act upon, they are going to ultimately convert this drug into the respective triphosphate. So, this next step is going to take place in the host that is humans, humans. Okay, so uh, what this will ultimate, ultimately uh, cause is basically in the virus, the DNA polymerase or the virus has to manufacture or synthesize the DNA, has to manufacture DNA. But uh, this acyclovir triphosphate is going to competitively inhibit the uh, you know DNA polymerase from converting or uh, you know helping this deoxyguanosine triphosphate that is GTP into incorporating into the viral DNA. Instead of that, this acyclovir triphosphate is going to get incorporated into the viral DNA because of which there is going to be a DNA chain termination. So thereby the replication of the viruses is going to be halt. It 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 will stop. So, then uh, we are happy after giving the medication. Why? Because the virus is going to not replicate and so the virus is going to die off. But then the virus is very clever and intelligent. So, it thought, oh my god, what the hell? So, this stupid humans, they are using my enzyme thymidine kinase and they are converting the drugs into a product which is going to terminate my own DNA formation? No, I will not let this happen. And the virus now, you know, mutated. So, it underwent a mutation because of which this thymidine kinase will no longer convert this valcyclovir, acyclovir, famcyclovir or pencyclovir into the respect to monophosphates. So, if this step is stopped, if, the, if this step is, uh, you know, inhibited, by the way of the mutation of these herpes viruses, then this drug is not going to work in the humans. Okay, this step is the first and uh, foremost and most important step. So, this actually, you know, it is very rare to find acyclovir resistance, but it is, uh, you know, if at all it is found, it is found in the persons who are immunocompromised. Like, for example, those persons who are having uh, HIV infection or those who are on uh, chemotherapeutic uh, treatment or those who are on steroids. Okay, so in acyclovir resistant strains, antiviral susceptibility, uh, susceptibility should be determined and 
அவர் ஹீரோ அவர் ஹீரோ தட் இஸ் போஸ்கார்னெட் ஆர் செட் ஆஃப் அவர் can be used as primary therapy okay so this is the thing so what is the uh, you know uh, uniqueness of the foscarnet is as you can see here acyclovir pencyclovir gamcyclovir or famcyclovir they depend upon the virus specific kinases for the first step but this foscarnet and sedafovir they are going to bypass they are going to bypass this first step and they directly need the host kinases that is we our human kinases are enough to convert them into the respective triphosphates which are going to then get incorporated into the dna and they will cause a chain termination thereby the virus is going to die so this is the uniqueness of these medication that is by bypassing this first step that is uh, virus thymidine kinase is not needed for these medications trifluoridin set up over and post connect that is the reason why in the patients who are having this uh, acyclovir resistance post connect medication is used okay i hope all of you have understood uh, the concept behind this uh, usage of post connect in patients who are acyclovir resistant please give a thumbs up if all of you have understood this clearly and this is the tomorrow's question most common cutaneous presentation in subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus which can be you know in short called as scle is try to answer your uh, you know uh, car- uh, choice in the comment section below no life will be a failure there is no such thing as failure in the universe a hundred times man will hurt himself a thousand times he will tumble but in the end he will realize that he is the god so always remember aham brahmasmi we are ourselves god only thing which is needed is realization for ourselves always you should uh, feel that i can do it you should think that i can do it and i hope all of you enjoyed this class uh, do join my telegram uh, group the links are there in the description and i hope all of you enjoyed this uh, video please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching this video till this point happy learning dermatology sarvam sri krishna arpanam sarve jana sukhino bhavantu bye bye